What's up, yo? Got some hauls to share with you guys. Uh, so first of all, I'm back in Vegas. Um, in the previous video, I mentioned that I was going out of town for a few days. It's actually a, a week later from when I recorded that. Um, I recorded that either the night before or in the early morning. I don't remember exactly before leaving and if I remember right we left Friday morning or something like that uh, got back here in Vegas Tuesday yeah Tuesday um, it's now Thursday August 9th as I record this um, so I didn't post the uh, I didn't post that video for a couple of reasons. Um, I accidentally deleted the picture for the uh, the contest post. Um, so I couldn't post about the actual contest on Instagram <laughs> until today or, or technically yesterday. Uh, as well as, even if I did, um, I, I decided to delete the video, which is the one I uploaded yesterday, the uh, the, the little haul and room update and um, contest announcement uh, to free up some space. I really need to put like a an SD car, SD car, SD SD card, uh, micro SD card in my phone, uh, so I can have more space for taking pictures and videos and stuff. Anyway, so that's why. That ended up being a late post, but regardless, the uh, the contest is live. So please feel free to go to Instagram and and uh, enter that contest for the uh, chance to win the Back in Black Deadpool Marvel Legends figure. So anyway, a few little hauls from my trip. Um, it's good to be back in Vegas, like I said, uh, family vacations are always nice, but home is home. Um, got a few things, um, I, I wish I could have hit up more stores, but as it seems with a lot of my trips, you know, we're just, just jam-packed with, with activities and family stuff, and I'm lucky if I could squeeze in couple little toy runs like at the 11th hour you know like at the very end and, and this time it kind of really was that way so anyway I'm gonna go through uh, each of these I uh, try to go through them a little briefly but got some things from five below my favorite store by us the Navy Exchange and some goodies from Butterball 619 Joe Bird oh yeah by the way it's good to be back in Vegas and get my favorite boba tea from Br Fresh Boba Tea. Oh, my strawberry milk tea. So it was so good. Um, side note, on the trip, was it four or five days? I had a boba tea at like four different places. Some good stuff, but none, none compared to this. I love this. Um, although I had one unique one uh, at the the uh, Anaheim Packing District Packing House um, I think it was Mini Monster it was like a, a honey coconut Thai milk tea something like that it's pretty unique it was good but still not as good as this so anyway five below I love five below any chance I get go down to SoCal I gotta hit five below and I, I thought I wasn't going to I almost thought I wasn't going to but on the last night there I was able to squeeze it in <laughs> uh, nearby where we're staying at my cousin's house in uh, Ontario California um, wasn't the best location um, some of the other ones I've been to had had better stuff or maybe it was just just this time you know uh, regardless I made it like just like 10 minutes before closing so I found some random things. I didn't find like any any super good stuff, but you know, 
just to just to get it in you know get get some five below goodies uh picked up this elite collection brian pillman wcw 90s era uh, i'll be honest i really am not familiar with this guy at all but and it sucks that they didn't have these other guys especially i want these two the most connor and victor from the ascension but i also want kane the rock and this gold dust i honestly want the rest of them um <laughs> I, I don't really need this guy, but I, I do, you know, I, I collect the uh, the diorama pieces, so hopefully I eventually find these guys for cheap, um, but, oh, there's no price tag on here, five bucks, you know, can't go wrong, uh, just a, a mix of random stuff, picked this up for summer, you know, we, we do a little uh, nerf and, um, you know, getting her into it too, so it's a little little mini rebel blaster got this um, Justice League action mighty minis three pack with Batman Joker and Harley another piece for dark side um, I think I just need one more that they didn't have this I, I already got this and this I forget where I got them on Clarence or something somewhere but still need that to complete dark side and then got this portable power bank. I don't know how effective this thing's gonna be. This is one of those super random pickups. It was like, you know, they have items at their register. I was just kind of like, you know, I didn't, I didn't get a whole bunch of good stuff. So what else can I add? But anyway, I just thought it'd be really handy um, to have one of these. So, again, I don't know how effective it'll be, but we'll find out, you know? Might be good to, to have when we're when we're out, and, you know, especially my wife and I, we, we use our phones a lot, especially taking pictures and stuff. Might come in handy. Um, random DVD, Bad Moms, Mila Kunis, Kristen Bell, and... A huge fan, Christina Applegate. Yeah, if you saw <laughs> the last video, she, her as Kelly Bundy, my earliest and greatest all-time TV crushes, Kelly Bundy. And then I got this. Check out. Check this out. It's a little skateboard. I got this for summer. I, I don't think she's ready. You know, she's just three, three and a half. I don't know if she's really ready to, to ride this. I mean, I've ridden her on my skateboard a few times. You know, like I just hold her on it. So it might be cool to, to kind of let her try. You know, she has a helmet. I'll get her some some elbow and knee pads and, and wrist guard. Um, I, know, I know my wife's not going to be too crazy about it. But <laughs> might be cool. Uh, speaking of which, got a couple little things for my wife. If I would have had more time, I would have wanted to look for more stuff for both Summer and my wife. But, um, you know, my wife's on her fitness journey. She works out uh, pretty much daily, which I really should be doing too. But I'll get there. But I saw these knee supports. So I thought those would be good. And last but not least, you, know, you can see that. Glow Season 1, one sheet. I can see if I can... Uh, Get this open so I can show you guys. I have to put you guys down for a second. Here we go. Boom. Glow season one. And I just recently watched season two with my wife. I got her both into season one. And season two, she binge watched them all. Um, gotta love Glow. And it was actually thanks to, to Kyle, the Geeky Brony, giving me the heads up that he found this at FI Below. This is one of the, the main reasons I wanted to go there. So glad I scored this at least, if not more action figure goodness. All right, and then moving on, right next to the FI Below was a FIAS, and I was at the five below and, until closing. Um, actually, there was also a Ross on the other side. I think I, no, I don't know if I went to Ross first, but I, I, I 
looked up, um, you know, the closing time of Fias, and it was like 10 o'clock. So I was like, cool. I still have time to hit up Ross and Fias. And uh, unfortunately, nothing at Ross. I mean, there it was actually pretty well stocked. And this is, um, uh, oh, you know, it was, I was, it was near my cousin's place in Ontario, but it was actually, um, oh, shit, I can't remember. Uh, Montclair, Montclair, California. Anyway, um, didn't pick up anything at Ross, but I picked up a couple little things here at the Fias. So they had this old uh, Monster Jam Holiday Edition, and I would have overlooked it. Uh, and I think they also had Grave Digger out of this series. Um, you know, it's a holiday edition, and you know how many people care about holiday editions when it's you know not Christmas time and stuff. But I thought, oh, that's cool. You know, it's got, like, the snow stuff on it. This will be cool for the next time I actually go to the snow. You know? Um, so, that's how I'd pick it up. I, I don't recall, or I might have overlooked these when these were these were out during during the holidays. But, you know. Uh, even if that's the only use I'll get out of it, get some cool shots of it in the snow. Worth the pickup. And then, another little thing for summer... And I like how this is a Boomco blaster, and it's a Wonder Woman blaster. It's kind of an odd design, but still kind of cool. You know, when she's a little bigger and we're we're having our Nerf wars and stuff, and you know, this might be this might come in handy for that. Uh, a few things from the uh, the Navy Exchange. Every time we're we're in San Diego, you know, go with my parents and my dad's retired Navy to the. Uh, department store at the at the navy base um no toys unfortunately this time um i did last time but uh not this time um but a few things and and oh you know what before I, before i continue just real quick this is actually going to be kind of a two-part video um because and i think the last time i went to say i i i showed all the stuff i brought back a sneak peek at least uh, and I'll do the same. So that's an, that was a part of the trip. Um, I brought back a bunch of stuff again. That that's yeah, I still have a few things left over at my parents' house, but I was able to bring back quite a bit. Not as much as last time, but quite a bit still, including mine and my wife's bikes, which I've been wanting for a long time. Just having got around to 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 packing it anyway. Most of what I got actually is for the bike or bikes or yeah bike anyway so first up just a little um you know just to carry on me just in case a little bicycle repair kit a couple of these little spoke lights because i i do kind of anticipate i'll be doing a lot of night riding so hopefully how does this work probably showing up orange but it is it is red kind of pinkish actually I think it has two modes yeah you can do a flashing mode um, it'll kind of look like that when you're riding uh, picked up a, a, a lock which I actually um, threw on um, because I had them I had the bikes strapped to the uh, the hood of the car um, which they stayed safely, <laughs> uh, even after San Diego and, and the, the couple of days were on, in Ontario. Anyway, uh, also picked up a couple of these, um, waterproof phone caddy things. Uh, and we actually used them at the beach. We went to, um, a beach in, uh, Newport Beach, Crystal Cove, and they worked out really well. I like those worth the the, the eight bucks. Um, I actually messed. I got we got two of them. One for me, one for my wife. Um, they work perfectly, but I kind of messed mine up because I ended up wiping it with um with the towel, which which ended up having sand on it, so it kind of got scratched up. So I kind of ruined one, unfortunately. And then winding down um, before I get to Butterball Six One Nine's goodies, I forgot my cousin. 
also hook me up with all wheel um without fail every time we visit san diego my cousin uh which is ironic we grew up he was like a little brother to me we grew up together like yeah you know, he's like four years younger than me and they moved um and became neighbors like up the street like i knew him since he was like four years old anyway <laughs> he was never into toys growing up that's why it's kind of weird but uh he's in the hot wheels he collects hot wheels now anyway without fail he always hooks me up with with a few hot wheels he didn't really have many other ones this time but he hooked me up with this honda series honda civic and i didn't even know this series existed it's a whole honda series that's gonna be hot with all the uh the import collectors so really cool thanks cuz even though he's not watching this on youtube um always cool and then i wasn't expecting this but butterball hooked me up with a big bag of goodies some stuff from from comic con and some stuff not um here let's just <laughs> so yeah um first of all thanks man i was i wasn't expecting you know any of this um but yeah thanks you know it, it's kind of like um also without fail um when when joe bert <laughs> uh hooks me up with some goodies it's it's some goodies so and i love this is one of my favorite things when he hooks me up with stuff he always hooks me up with some some dvds or blue he usually just gives me like the dvd disc from from blu-rays i think this time he actually yeah look this is the full that's dv or blu-ray and dvd and it's this movie criminal that's got gal gadot in there i mean that's gonna be the main reason to watch it but yeah ninja turtles which i i think i actually i i have out of the shadows if i'm not mistaken but i never got the first one so thanks for hooking those up man there's so much cool random stuff here man we got some stickers some some decals I have to throw uh, <laughs> Pikachu, Deadpool. Some or all of these are going on the car, actually. It's a cool Matchbox, uh, Swamp Commander, which is funny. I'd seen this, and he knows I'm big into like the military deco stuff. So this is one of those ones where I'd really overlook this this car every time I'd seen it. But this deco, yeah, that that is definitely worth picking up. So thanks for hugging that up. And I, I actually never noticed before that the wheels can come down. So that's really cool. Thanks, man. This <laughs> Iron Man Transformer. That's pretty damn cool. I'm going to transform that. Uh, a couple, I think a couple here. Packs of the Lego Batman movie. Mini, oh, it's a series two. Oh shit! I never, I haven't gotten it. I well, I also never got. I think I never got like one or two of series one. So nice to to get a couple of series two. Fingers crossed, I get some good ones. I'm hoping for Black Canary. Um, a couple of these these Marvel magnets. I'm trying to think in my room, is there anywhere I can put these? Probably not, I don't really have. Uh, but they'll go on the fridge if nothing else. That's an awesome Daredevil Punisher. Really classic image right there. Oh man, <laughs> Always Sunny in Philadelphia sticker. That's cool, I actually almost want to put that on my car too. Um, some Ninja Turtles masks and got the whole team right there. Uh, it's from the new... Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I'm not I'm not gonna even say anything about that right now. Double Dare! Classic Nick right there, I guess. I think they're bringing it back or something like that. Uh couple posters. Oh shit. The new yes, yeah, that's, that's from the new Halloween, right? 
And it's probably like a really limited edition poster. It's not like the movie poster where it's got all the, and it's got like a, yeah, it's probably by, by an artist. I don't know who it's by. Um, but that's really cool. And some Dragon Ball Super, the movie, January 2019. That's really cool. Oh man, just so many goodies. Some, this graphic novel? Crossed. This looks interesting, looks sick and twisted, which, you know, I like that kind of shit. And this is a really thick book, actually. That's cool. Some comics. Free comic book day comics. Wonder Woman, Rebirth. Uh, there, there's two stuff. Oh, hells yes. I'm a big, if you don't know, I'm a big Judge Dredd fan. 2000 AD, Judge Dredd. And that's awesome. What year? Was this this year's or a previous year's free comic? It doesn't matter. That's fucking awesome. Thanks, man. This, uh, what is this? It's like a, a newspaper. Daily Bugle. It's like a replica of a <laughs> Daily Bugle. That's really cool. And this. Oh, look at look at that. Holy shit. I don't know exactly like what this is from. I mean, I, this is a Jessica Rabbit. Obviously, a Jessica Rabbit like art print. But I don't know if like this was from like a product line or something or or what. If this is like a custom produced piece or or whatever. But this is, and it's, it's on this, it's mounted on this foam board. Kind of like, you know, they do with photos and stuff. <laughs> Holy shit, that's, that's fucking sweet as fuck. Just look at that. Seriously. Holy shit, this is, this is going up somewhere. Um, if not on the wall, like, it's just gonna, you know, I'm gonna, this is gonna get displayed. This is, holy shit. Holy shit. Seriously? Seriously? Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh shit, thanks man. That's that's fucking awesome. Um a back to the future. Oh, this was a loot crate. Dr. Brown. That's really cool. Uh Another loot crate. Oh, cool. This is from... This is Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds. So since this was a loot crate exclusive, so this was never released, like, in stores, this is one that... Oh, man, that's so cool. I might be tempted to not open this, but at the same time, I really want to open it. Um, and then last but not least, this is so cool. It's funny because I texted him before we all met up. And we also... we. Uh, just an FYI, we met up uh, not only with, with Butterball Six One Nine, Sean DZ also met up, and Clownfire and Mrs. Clownfire, and we all we all went to this ice cream, this Asian dessert place. Anyway, it was really cool to see them. You know, the, the SD crew. Uh, I didn't take any videos of that hangout, but um, pictures pictures will be on Instagram. Anyway, texted Jobert. It's like, you got any of those those Walking Dead sets left? Because I know he, he hoarded a bunch of them when they're on clearance and stuff. And he was like, nah, I sold them all. And then, son of a bitch, look at this. Included in my big old bag of goodies. Holy shit. Oh, wow. So the thing is, I got into collecting the Walking Dead sets pretty late. I didn't collect them. You know when they were when they were first out. I think I got my first one uh, when I found it on clearance, and it was I think the lower prison cell. I got it on clearance on at Target like a couple years back or so. Um, then I found some of the figure packs at ninety nine cents only. Shortly after, got some of those, and I, then these popped up at, some of these popped up at 99 cents only. I got the prison boiler room, and it's not shown here, but the, uh, the Daryl's chopper. Um, and then I decided, you know, I really, you know, I'm not a completist, but, you know, it was, it was a very, you know, kind of short-lived line. There wasn't 
a whole lot to get. I, I kind of thought, you know, I'd like to get the rest, or at, at least as much as I could. So I do want to still get what I can if I if ever I can find them at good prices. Uh, the other prison cell, I don't think I'll ever find the actual prison cell catwalk set at a good price. I could probably still get the prison tower and gate for a fair price. So I want uh, such an iconic scene. Still want that too. Wouldn't mind that. Man, how cool is that? But um. I think I think I got this. It would be nice to, to add that as well. That'd be great to add, especially if I got that. But the RV, this is also so iconic. So you know, when I decided, I I did. Oh oh, I also got the governor's the governor's room. Um, even though that did pop up at ninety nine cents only, uh, I got it a lot a while back at at Walmart for like on clearance for like seven bucks. Anyway. This makes a perfect addition. So cool. Thanks so much. Butterball619 for Dale's RV. That's awesome. Thanks so much, man. Re all, all this all this good stuff. Really appreciate it. Oh, oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes.